Hi guys and welcome back to my channel and before I even start Happy New Year because this is my first video of 2017 so I hope you all had a really good start to the year. I've been a little bit quiet for the beginning of the year. I was busy 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 with Vlogmas. If you haven't seen my Vlogmas videos then definitely check it out. I'll leave the playlist link down below. It was my first ever Vlogmas. I was really excited to do it. I didn't plan it. <laughs> So I literally decided the night before Vlogmas should start, which is the 1st of December, and I just went for it. And I'm pretty happy with how it turned out, so definitely let me know in the comments below what you thought of Vlogmas. But today is now the middle of the second week of January, and I can't believe that I haven't filmed. I think I just needed a little bit of time to relax and unwind with family and with Christmas, and then my birthday, which was two days ago, I kind of go into a crimbo limbo and I just need to just take some time out. So on to today's video and I've been doing a little bit of shopping to get some new bits for my beauty. I feel I need to up my beauty routine a little bit and by beauty routine I mostly mean skincare. I think every time I get a little bit older, <laughs> with every passing year and with every passing birthday, I feel that I need to step it up a little bit. So I have a little bag of goodies here. Not everything I bought was from Space NK but it just all fits really well into my Space NK bag and I thought I would do a little luxury beauty haul. Before I get started, just to say thank you so much to all of you lovely, lovely viewers and followers and subscribers and whatever else that the right word might be. Thank you so much for subscribing. I'm so excited so many of you are following me on my YouTube channel. It just, it makes it all worthwhile. So if you haven't subscribed to my channel already, please do click the button down below to subscribe and that way you can keep up to date with all my future videos. I'm really going to try and do two videos a week from now on. So some of them might be vlogs, some of them will be videos like this, sitting in front of the camera and talking to you guys. So with that said, let's get started with the beauty haul. So I haven't really planned this very well, but I think I will probably start with the smallest thing and work my way up. I was thinking I might do it in price order, but I can't actually remember what everything cost. Obviously I remember what the most expensive things cost because they were eye-wateringly expensive, but I can't remember what the other bits cost, so I'll just go, I'll just do it randomly. Okay, cool, let's start. So the smallest thing is one of the little, ooh, let's get it right way round, is one of the tiny little Tom Ford lipsticks. I think it's from the Lips and Boys range. I always get the name wrong, it's probably wrong. Anyway, I am going to put the information about every single item that I'm going to talk about in the description box down below. So definitely click to open that box and get all the information on all the products that I'm talking about today. And also I will be doing reviews on some of them on my blog. So as and when those go up, I will make sure to put those links in the description box as well. So make sure to check if those are up there. Anyway, back to the lipstick. So this is from the Lips and Boys range. So it's a diddy little lipstick. I'm not quite sure if it's half the size or not. I'm, I don't quite know, but it is quite small as you can see, but it's in the same iconic packaging as all the Tom Ford lipsticks. Slightly cheaper as well. I think that this was around 29 pounds, but I will definitely put all the information in the description box down below. And I got this in the shade Ian. In case you don't know, all of the lipsticks are named after different men that Tom Ford knows or Tom Ford knows. <laughs> and this is a light pinky with a gold fleck. And I haven't actually bought this to wear all on its own. I've actually bought this to wear over another lipstick when I want to kind of zhuzh it up a little bit for the evening or something like that. So that is Ian. I'm not quite sure which Ian that's named after. If I can find out, I'll put it in the description box below, but at the moment, I don't know. And then while I was at the checkout, they very cleverly had these on display by the checkout counter. And these are little roll-on minis, basically, of the Tom Ford perfumes, the three best-selling perfumes. And I got the Tom Ford Noir, for women, obviously, 
and I got Tom Ford Velvet Orchid. So basically it's your average roll-on perfume, very very slim, very portable, really easy to just pop into your handbag and carry with you and I'm really really glad I bought them. Again, I think these were about the same price as the lipstick, maybe about £29 each I think. But if you're not sure which Tom Ford perfume you like and you don't really want to invest in a whole bottle until you know which one you like, it's actually a really good way to try them out. But I just bought them because I thought they were so cute and easy to carry around in my handbag. I know it's always really difficult to talk about perfume on film or even in a blog post, but if I can just try and tell you, so Velvet Orchid is very, very heady. I would wear that in the evening. It's floral, but it's a very heavy floral. And Noir is a lot spicier. It's almost verging on a masculine fragrance. But I love, I wear a lot of male fragrances anyway, so that suits me fine. There were three at the checkout, but I only chose the two. And I think if I was going to repurchase one of these, it would be Velvet Orchid, because it is so Moorish. I actually just want to keep inhaling, inhaling, inhaling until I fall back. It's really lovely. Okay, that's the Tom Ford section of this video done. Recently, I've been wearing a lot less powder and powder products. I really like that illuminated, dewy look. And I'd rather just set my makeup with a setting spray than set it with powder. I just feel it looks more youthful. As I said, with each passing year, each birthday, I'm looking for ways to look ever more youthful. And so that's my current strategy. Recently, I saw a video by Mariana Hewitt, who I think is an amazing blogger. She's an American blogger. And she did a video about full makeup, dewy skin. So I actually went online and bought some of the products that she recommended. A lot of them were RMS. And while I was there, I did a little bit of a Becca haul as well. So I was on Cult Beauty, and these are the bits that I picked up. I have actually mentioned some of these in one of my Vlogmas videos. So if you've seen Vlogmas, you'll already be familiar with these. But I picked up a couple of RMS products. They're all very natural, good for your skin products. And they are a hard cream that you warm up with your fingers and literally press into your skin. So the two products I got were the Magic Mixer, which is a slightly peachy shade and the Living Luminizer, which looks peachy in the pot as well, but actually goes on quite silvery. It's a lovely illuminating highlighter. So the way that I use these, obviously the Living Luminizer I'm using as a highlighter in all the areas that I would normally use a powder highlighter. So, you know, on the cheekbones, down the bridge of my nose, on my cupid's bow, that kind of thing, you know, under the eyebrows, all of that. And then the Magic Maker, was it Magic Mixer? I better just check, hold on. Well, I got that wrong completely. It's called the Master Mixer. It's not the Magic Mixer, but it actually is like magic. <laughs> so I'm gonna go with that. No, this is the Master Mixer. And you wear this under other makeup and it just gives the other makeup that you put on top extra oomph. So under a blusher or under my eyeshadow. I've actually just worn this as eyeshadow on its own. It gives a lovely luminosity and brightness to the eyelids without looking like you're wearing lots of makeup. But if you put it underneath your eyeshadow or underneath your blusher, for example, it almost acts like a primer that just gives the color extra, extraness. I can't even think of the right word. While I was on the Cult Beauty website, I made sure to pick up my Becca Under Eye Brightening Corrector. I think that's the right word for it. Again, it's one of those hard cream products that you warm up with your fingers. And I use this under my concealer. I am blessed. <laughs> I'm doomed because I have these dark circles under my eyes and the concealer doesn't always cut it. So I use a corrector underneath and I've been mixing a couple of shades before and it was just annoying me, makeup was taking too long. So I decided to invest in the Becca one which I've heard so many good things about. It's really hard trying to find one that's the right shade for my skin so it doesn't look too orange or too yellow or whatever. This is perfect, it's a light salmon-y colour and I apply this Again, I'll use my fingers. This is not as hard as the RMS products. So I'll apply it with my fingers and I'll just tap it in where the dark circles are the worst. I'll kind of look down into my mirror like that so that the shadows are really prominent. That's where I'll apply it. I'll let that set for about 
10-15 seconds and then I'll apply my concealer on top. I actually find that I'm wearing a lot less concealer because this has done the job of disguising those bluish purplish circles. You know what I mean, we've all had it haven't we? So this has been a godsend especially over the festive season where we've had a lot of late nights, not enough sleep, possibly not eating how I should have been uh, and it always shows under my eyes, it really does. So this has been absolutely a godsend. I bought this before Christmas and I'm so glad that I did. And sticking with the Becca theme, I had also heard fabulous things about the backlight primer. I think I've got, again, I can't actually, the lighting is so bad in January, I can't actually see anything at all. There's hardly any light. I'm doing this video with natural light because even using my lighting makes me look weird. It's a really odd light. Anyway, back to the product. I think it's the backlit or backlight primer from Becca. Again, all the information will be in the description box below. So if I've said anything wrong, I'll make sure that it's all correct in the description box and all the information there. I'm on a theme here because this isn't the only thing like this that I've bought but I wanted that luminous look to come through from behind my foundation. And this is really, really lovely. Okay, I've just looked up the name. It's the Backlight Priming Filter, and it gives a really lovely airbrushed kind of look to your skin, even before you've put on your makeup. So quite often, if I'm actually doing nothing, apart from sitting at my desk all day, but I do have to go out to do the school run, obviously. I don't want to scare anyone too much. I might just apply this, even if I'm not putting foundation over the top, and it just kind of evens out the skin tone. It's not a BB cream, obviously, and it's not a CC cream. It doesn't have those properties, but it just gives a radiance to the skin so you don't look like death when you go out. But actually, under the foundation, it doesn't make you look greasy or sweaty or anything like that. It just gives that dewy look, which is what I'm after. So, moving away from Becca, but still on the same theme, this is the By Terry, now I need to read this because it's such a long name, the By Terry Cellular Rose Brightening CC Serum. So it's pretty much like the Becca one, except this is actually skincare as well as being a little bit like a CC cream. It doesn't give you proper coverage, so it's not a foundation, it's not instead of that, it's to go under your foundation, but it does even out the skin tone and it gives a beautiful glow and luminosity to the skin. You don't have to put it all over your face, you could just use it where you do want that luminosity. So maybe just on the cheekbones if that's all you want. But I tend to put this over my whole face before I wear my foundation, mostly because it is skincare. So you you know you're doing something really, really good for your skin because most of the Bari Terry products are skincare as well. So yeah, I've been wearing this one as well. I've kind of got these two on rotation. One day the Becca, one day the Bari Terry. I'm torn because I love them both. They are slightly different but I do love them both, so I'm glad I bought them both. Um, I can't say yet which one I will be repurchasing. I think I need to use them both a little bit longer to know that one, and I will report back or I'll update in that description box down below. Okay, I'm gonna preface this by saying it was my birthday coming up and Christmas and everything, and I decided to buy a little present for myself. Okay, so we've got that said and done. Do not judge me, but this, from by Terry. Didn't need it, but that's what a present to yourself is, right? It is the Imperialist Elixir de Pearl. First of all, the box. How beautiful is this box? Now I know I'm not going to hold on to the box. Obviously I've only held on to the box to show you guys and after I film this video, I'm gonna throw the box away, in theory but it is so beautiful. It's almost like jewelry has been imprinted onto this beautiful rose gold box. So the cardboard is rose gold and it's silver and gold in terms of the decorations on it. It really is so, so pretty. I wish I could find a use for this box, but I think I'm gonna have to throw it away. Anyway, on to the product. This is the pot that was inside that box. Yeah, I know it is a little bit small compared to the size of the box, but 
This is another one of those illuminating under your foundation creams, like a serum. Again, because it's by Terry, you know that there's bucket loads of skincare in this as well. And before you all start throwing your hands up in the air and rolling your eyes and saying, oh my God, did she need another one of those? Let me just say that this one is different to the Becca one and the other by Terry one that I got because this one has a rose gold tint to it. So it gives that rose gold luminescence to the skin. There, did that justify it? I don't know. I don't know if anything can justify this. It was an indulgence. I'll be honest, that's all it was. It was a complete and utter indulgence, totally unnecessary. Do I regret it? No, I probably don't regret it, although I probably should. Let me just show you. See if it can pick up on camera. I don't know if you'll be able to see how pink that is. It's actually pinker than the Becca Under Eye Brightening Corrector. So you might think that you're going to look very pink when you put this on your face, but you don't. It smells gorgeous, as do all the By Terry products. So let's see if you can see that on my skin there. You can, even with the terrible lighting, you can see how illuminating that is on the skin. And if I just rub that into my skin, it's very cooling, by the way, it's really, really lovely. It has given the most beautiful sheen to my skin that wasn't there before. And that really shows through the foundation. I really love it. And I know it was totally unnecessary. Don't even know why I did it, but I think it's limited edition. There you go. There's another reason why I bought it. I am a sucker for limited editions. Let me know if you are too. Make me feel a little bit better. Anyway, I don't think there's much more that I can say about this without making it sound like I'm feeling guilty and trying to justify. I'm not. I just love it. Okay, we are on to the last two products from Shantikai. I think I said that right, Shantikai. So if you are a regular reader of my blog or if you've been on this channel before and you've seen some of my past videos, you'll know that my under eye area is the bugbear of my life, hence that Becca Brightening Corrector. I'm always looking for an eye cream that's just going to, I don't know, work magic? Well, that's what I'm looking for. I just want something that's going to work magic. I think I've spent more money on eye creams and other products to disguise the circles and the puffies and everything else under my eyes than I have on any other product. I seem to have every problem going that you could possibly have under your eyes. So I have the hollows and I have puffiness as well. I mean, I just don't understand how I can have both, but I do. So this was definitely the most expensive product of this haul is the Sean Takai, I've got to read this one too, it's the Sean Takai Nano Gold Energizing Eye Cream. I'm not even going to tell you how expensive this was, I am too embarrassed to tell you. So if you want to know, then click the link in the description box below and you can find out and then you can go ahead and judge me. For now, I'm just going to tell you why I bought this eye cream. I was looking for something to go under my eyes when I was in Space NK and I got talking to the sales assistant, as you do, and we were looking at just about every brand. And I tried this one under my eyes while I was talking to her because I had tried just about everything else and this was the one that I hadn't tried, probably because of the price. And as I was talking to her, I could see the difference in the mirror. I literally could see the puffiness under my eyes disappear and it wasn't one of those gimmicky transformations that you see on some of those cheesy television shopping channels this was just taking away the puffiness I mean my lines were still there it wasn't giving me like oh weird face or anything it just it seemed to be draining away the excess fluid that's under my eyes really really loved the effect of it I was hooked I was sold I could really see the difference so this is now, oh, I haven't even taken it out of the box, sorry. I am using this every day, but I love the packaging so much, I've kept it in the box. So it opens like that. By the way, this is how it is sitting on my dressing table. I'm using it every day, but I actually am not. I'm using this every morning 
because it's too expensive to be using at night. So I'm using it in the day just to drain away all the puffiness um, because that's when I'm out and about seeing people. And at night, I'm just using a, my regular eye cream that I had before because, yeah, because it's so expensive. So it comes in a little pot like this, a little bit annoying. I just prefer things in tubes. I find it more hygienic, but I'm willing to overlook that because this is so effective under my eyes. And there's a little spatula, so I do use the spatula just to take out a tiny amount, about the size of a rice grain for each eye. I'm not going to bore you with all the science, but basically there's nanoparticles of gold and stem cell technology in here, and that's what's doing all the work. I think it's patented to Shantakai. I'm not quite sure, but they are the ones that have got it all going on in this eye cream. Don't regret this one either. When you checked the link, you'll realize how expensive this is, but I don't regret this one either. There's not really much else to show you. It's just a regular little pot of eye cream, but it's anything but regular in terms of what it does to my eyes. While I was there, I thought I would pick up another concealer because why not? <laughs> and I did get the Chantecaille concealer. I'm in the darkest shade possible. I can't remember what number it is. Again, information in the description box below. It's one of those click pen concealers, click, 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 and it comes out and it's got a little brush so you just apply it directly to the area where you want it and I just tap it in. Again, there's lots and lots of skincare properties in this as well doesn't have the draining capabilities that the eye cream does. So I'll let the eye cream just settle in for a while and then I'm applying this. It doesn't give lots of coverage. I would say that. So if you're looking for a heavier coverage concealer, this is definitely not the one for you. But, oh, <laughs> but for days where you just want to just even out the skin tone a little bit, this is absolutely fine. I'm not sure that I would repurchase it. Oh, I haven't tried it over my Becca corrector. So maybe if I try it over my Becca corrector, I'll be super happy with it. Yep, I will report back. Otherwise, if it's not going to do magic over my Becca corrector, I probably wouldn't repurchase this because it doesn't give that much coverage, not as much as on my other concealers. Oh, and if you want to know what my favorite concealers are, then I have filmed a couple of videos of my 10 favorite concealers, so there's five in each. So make sure to click the link in the description box down below. I'll link both those videos for you there. So that is the end of this luxury beauty haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Maybe you found some products that you haven't tried before that you might try. If you do, leave me your comments down below and let me know what you thought of them or just let me know what you thought of the things that I bought and how mad you think I am buying some of those things. Yeah. Thank you so much for watching. As I said before, if you haven't subscribed already, please go ahead and subscribe for more videos from me. I'm going to try and do two videos a week. Oh, that's four. Two videos a week. And let me know if there's any videos in particular you would like to see from me. I'm thinking I might do some collaborations as well. I haven't really done any. So if there's anyone that you think that I should do a collaborative video with, definitely let me know in the comments down below. You can find me obviously on other social media like Instagram and I'm totally into Instagram stories. I've kind of moved away from Snapchat by the way. Let me know what you guys think of that. I'm doing more Instagram stories than Snapchats. So come find me on Instagram and I will put all the links to all my other social media in the description box down below and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys!